We are now going to find and look for the effector. When you have an IK handle created, they automatically create, or my automatically creates, what is called an effector. Okay, and I would recommend changing the name of the effector as well. So we're going to hunt this down real quick, and we're going to move the effector over so that we can have it in the designated area of the wrist so that we can set our controller up right there and connect it to it. And the easiest way to do that is to select your left arm IK. So if you've deselected it, you should have that handle there like this. Okay, and I'll just drag a little marquee around it. And what I will do is go up to Window, down to the Outliner. There's my left arm IK. And the left arm IK is at the bottom. I believe what I do want to do actually is select the joint that it is connected to. So I will click on the left forearm roll. And that joint is selected, so I'll come over here. And in the Outliner, I'll hit the F key. The F key is going to allow me to frame that joint that I have selected. And you're going to be able to see that right below that joint is an effector. Okay? It's not inside of the joint. It's below it. So it's at the same level here. The effector is going to be kind of like an addition here. It's going to affect that joint or be connected to that joint. So you're going to see under the hierarchy, it's not as though it needs to be inside of the joint. Okay? it's actually at the same level in our hierarchy mode. Now, we can double click that effector and call it left arm IK effector. Left arm IK effector. And that's going to allow us to be able to call this if we ever need to type it up here or look for it under here. Select by name. Okay. So, what we're going to do is change the name and we're going to do the same thing to the right arm but we want to select the actual effector okay the effector is something that we're going to want to move and the thing to say about this is that the effector itself is going to be what allows our joints to follow the IK handle and if you have sticky on so let's say that you forgot sticky on you're going to have to go to the attribute editor and you're going to have to turn it off because if I try moving the effector and I would have to select the IK handle, let me select the IK handle to show you under the left arm IK if I scroll down and I go to the IK handle attribute sticky is off but if you had it on and you forgot to change this in the settings if you try to take this left arm IK effector okay, this is not the IK handle anymore, it's the effector you'll see the IK handle is still at the bottom here. So this is the left arm IK handle, and here is its effector. If you forgot sticky on and you have the effector on, what we're going to do is the desired effect to move the effector over here is going to be not simply selecting your move tool and moving it, but it's going to be moving the pivot point. So we need to get into our move pivot point tool, and we can do that by hitting insert, and then we'd have to hit insert again when we're done. Or if you'd like to hold down the D key. Alright. And I'm also going to snap to point. So you could either enable this guy right here, which is snap to point. Or hold down the V key, as in Valerie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the D key. That puts me into the move pivot point tool. I'm going to add the V key to the mix. So I'm also going to hold down the V key. So I'm holding down D and V. And I'm going to go over here to where I have the yellow circle, hold down my left mouse button, and try to snap it. And you're going to see that when I try to snap it, what happens is that it, it breaks. It freaks out. It doesn't know what to do. Okay? And that's because we had sticky on. Let me try undoing that. Now, it allowed me to undo it, but I need to remind you guys that you need to constantly save. So if you get something working in these tutorials, and it's working, you've checked it, save it. Save it as an iteration or a legacy file, if you will, because some of these things are not undoable. So if you hit Control-Z or Edit Undo, it's not going to do it. Okay. Now I'm going to go back in here to my left arm IK, and this is pretending that we left the sticky on in the settings, and I'm going to go to the Attribute Editor, and you can hit Control-A if you like. Instead of clicking on this, that will show the Attribute Editor. 
And in the left arm IK tab under the IK handle attributes, I will go down to stickiness and turn that off. Now, check this out. I'm going to go to channel box just to open this up a little bit more. You could feel free to go to full screen mode, so control spacebar, right? And with the effector, I'll come up here to the outliner, select the effector. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll hold down D to get me into the move pivot, pivot point tool. I'll hold down V to snap to point. And now I should be able to click and drag this from the little yellow circle over to the wrist and it snaps to the wrist. I first released the left mouse button, then I released my hotkeys. So release D and V now. Okay? That way you don't have undesired results, but you let it snap there. And when you release the left mouse button, that means you're done with that movement and it will not mess up as though if you release the D and V key, it's gonna allow you to move this thing around and jump out of those hotkeys that we had. Okay? So now the effectors moved to the wrist and that's pretty much what we want. So the way to test it is to see exactly what's going on here. And again, just to show you guys, you shouldn't have orange from the the shoulder up here all the way to the wrist. You should only have it between the joints it's affecting. So what it's really affecting is going to be the joint in between the connected joints. So we connected it to the uh, the shoulder here and we connected it to the left forearm roll and it's going to calculate or drive the rotation of the elbow joint for us. So the joint that is in between those two is really the, the one to, to focus on and the joints in orange are the ones that are a part of the connection even though we did connect it to or this is the end of the connections right here to the left forearm roll and it's not an orange that's quite alright okay it's just a visual representation uh, the proof will be in the pudding and what I mean by that is we need to check this so if I go to my outliner and you could just really even select it in here but select the left arm IK and if you're not already in your move tool hit W you should be in your move tool because we just moved the pivot point and you're going to be able to move this around and we don't have any broken forearms going on here but the arm is moving in the desired way that we would like it to okay so I will undo that move which control Z that leaves this in place and I will save this as a legacy file and the next thing that we're going to do is create a controller so for the next tutorial we can create a controller for this to control both the IK handle and we're also going to talk about getting into setting up orient constraints and different things like that because we're also going to make another handle that's going to follow the joints and it's going to be made with set driven keys for our fingers that way we can get the movement of our fingers.